Good morning, classmates. Good morning, everyone. And good morning, Doc Tan. Today, we are Group 1 and we will be reporting about the IoT-based Landfill Remote Sensing System for Cleanway Environmental Management Solutions, Inc., also known as SEMSI. With me are the reporters, Sir Elmar Francisco, right here, Sir Jerry Hobacon, and of course, the only lady in the group, Miss Glenda Kinzon. Okay, let me start our presentation by the organizational background of the company. Cleanway Environmental Management Solutions, Inc., also known as SEMC, is 100% green, 100% certified, and it's your partner for treatment compliance. SEMC is the leading waste management company in the Philippines with fully integrated facilities located in various strategies areas in the Philippines. It is the country's first and only environmental management company with capabilities to collect, transport, analyze, treat, dispose, and all types of industrial, medical, and hazardous waste. For this reporting, we will focus on, on SEMC Tarlac. SEMC has a lot of sites in the Philippines, but we will focus on their new medical treatment facility in Tarlac. Aside from having the first and only fully integrated and comprehensive management facility in the country, Cleanway has earned the respect of local authorities like DNR, PESA, LLDA, and different LGUs. Also, it has recognition with UCAS Environmental Management, Anglo Japanese American Registrant, and ANSI. Thus, warranting ISO 9001 for quality and 14001 for environmental management system. Over the years, SEMC has gained the respect of leading companies and organizations from different industries, particularly this related to medical facilities, semiconductor, microelectronics, fast-moving consumer goods, and petroleum, including mining as well. Okay, so what is the nature of business of SEMC? So SEMC does, they collect waste from, uh, from companies such as for this, the medical waste, and they treat it and ensure sustainability towards the waste. So all the waste will be recycled, it will be treated, or it will be decomposed according to the standards that they have for the ENR or Department of Environment and Natural Resources. For the business operations of SEMC, SEMC continues to strengthen its geographical presence by extending its reach to industries like Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. In response to the growing need of comprehensive waste management solutions, facilities are strategically located in various parts of the country to provide the best and the most adequate complementary solutions and services in support with the environment. For industries in Luzon, SEMC operates the plant inside Meridian Industry Complex in Silang, Cavite. For industries in Southern Philippines, SEMC operates the facilities in Leyte Industrial Development Estate or LIDE in Isabela, Leyte. Other plants are being planned for other regions. SEMC also provide and develop environmental products and technologies in various environmental problems encountered by industries. For the business layout, the mission of the Cleanway Environmental Management Solution Incorporated state that they are the only fully integrated, most comprehensive waste treatment partner in the Philippines, committed to compliance and corporate responsibility through continuous innovation and advancement in technology, while their vision is to be the treatment solution expert across all industries. Elevating the consciousness for compliance and environmentally sustainable means to resolve the country's waste as it works closely with its partners and communities. And the company's core values focus on enterprise, excellence, integrity, respect for the individual, and there are five main services the company provides. It includes number one, transport where hazardous waste are transported in closed transport vehicles. Number two, laboratory, which uses analytical testing or in-house monitoring. Number three, like modern warehouse, it uses advanced racking system. Number four, treatment, using physical chemical treatment, solvent recovery, stabilization or solidification, healthcare waste treatment, and bulb crusher. 
and number five, disposal, wherein immobilized waste are disposed in a double lined secure landfill within the integrated facility. The following are the ways the company transport, treat, and dispose. This is under hazardous waste acceptance which includes cyanide waste, acid waste, alkaline waste, waste with inorganic chemicals, reactive chemical waste, waste organic solvent, potricible or organic waste, and miscellaneous waste. The company has also an integrated management system policy. In pursuit of their vision, Cleanway Environmental Management Solution Incorporated aims to be a company of choice in both competence and quality in providing a range of waste treatment and disposal services. They will work to exceed their stakeholders' expectation and raise the environmental awareness and standard of the country. SIMSI also have health, safety, environment, and quality policy. SIMSI believes that health, safety, environment, and quality are of equal importance and should not be compromised by the activities that are or will be employed to achieve its business objectives. For the target customers or clients, the SEMC has been operating for more than 15 years and their services are provided to a variety of sectors including automotive, construction and demolition, government, hospital, educational institution, local government waste management, manufacturing, medical, property, retail and utilities. Here are some of the clients of SEMC the Philippine General Hospital, Shell, Honda, the Medical City, Province of Pangasinan, Province of Pampanga, Province of Binguet, Province of Bulacan, Province of Laguna, University of the Philippines College of Medicine, Bethany Hospital Incorporated, Department of Health, and Zama. Well, SEMSI Secure Landfill is compliant of existing national and local regulatory bodies. It lacks sensing of parameters that would ensure real-time feedback of operation and performance. Landfills all over the world are prone to large-scale incidents as a result of loose safety nets, non-compliance, or poor design, which might be sometimes aggravated or triggered by natural calamities. Events may vary from waste slides, fires and floods. Such incidents will cost a lot to the company and on its community. The group proposes an Internet of Things-based landfill parameter sensing system that will ensure preventive maintenance and monitoring. It uses automated tracking of identified landfill parameters. Many of the sensors will pass through the long-range or LoRa network. The figure above shows the block diagram of the proposed SEMC IoT-based landfill monitoring system. While the CCTV monitoring system in the landfill site directly passes through the cloud, data from all other sensors will go through the Long Range or LoRa gateway. This ensures that all of the data from the temperature, stress and strain, sound pressure, gas, vibration, and dishate level and chemistry sensor system will not be affected by the sudden drop of network bandwidth. The six sensor systems are connected to a microcontroller which is then connected to the LoRa gateway. Only 30 kbps of internet allocation is required to the LoRa to establish a stable transmission of important parameters. The data can be monitored remotely from the head office. CCTV output can be monitored separately. These are the technology that we use. The IoT or Internet of Things is a system of interrelated computing devices mechanical and digital machines, objects, animals, or people that are provided with unique identifiers and the ability to transfer data over a network without requiring human-to-human -human or human-to-computer interaction. LoRaWAN, or the Long Range Wide Area Network, is a technology that ensures low power, low range, and low cost transmission of IoT data to a dedicated range of frequencies. It only requires minimal internet bandwidth as it focuses on the integrity of the data 
rather than the quality of platform. Remote places that require long-distance transmission to first Lorawan in their IoT solutions. The landfill system uses the following sensor systems. Temperature. Data provides early detection and alert against fire that may be caused by a combination of gases or chemicals. Stress and strain. It is measured across strategic locations in leachate collection pipes to ensure allowable force at critical points. Sound pressure. Listening to a landfill may give SEMC an idea of what is happening inside. A landfill is a dynamic lump of solid materials and fluids that creates the distinct sounds. Carefully selected frequencies may provide a better understanding in phenomena that are also detected by other sensors. Gas detection. It is essential that landfills should minimize the amount of harmful gases such as methane and hydrogen sulfide. Landfills are a top source of methane emissions, releasing 12% of the world's total harm harmful gases in order to prevent incidents and minimize effects on the environment. A sensor system is important for detection of excessive gases. Vibration The Philippines is considered prone to earthquakes. The province of Tarlac, where SEMSI facilities are located, has a proximity to Mount Pinatubo which might be a source of volcanic earthquakes on top of tectonic earthquakes that is common in many portions of the country. A vibration sensor system in the landfill may ensure real-time monitoring of land shock. It may also serve as a minute seismic station within the surrounding area. Reshate level and chemistry. Regulatory bodies specify a certain level of reshate to avoid contamination. Chemical composition is also vital to determine if leachate characteristics from chemical precipitates or induce biological clogging mechanisms. Video A closed-circuit television system provides the most direct external phenomena on a macro level. The total cost for the sanitary landfill is equivalent to 68,833,045 pesos and 87 centavos. For the IoT-based sensing technology costing, uh, for temperature sensor system, cost 30,000 pesos. For the stress and strain sensor system, cost 80,000 pesos. Sound pressure sensor system is equivalent to 40,000 pesos. Gas sensor system, it's equivalent to 110,000 pesos. For vibration sensor system, it's equivalent to 80,000 pesos. For the leachate level and chemistry sensor system, equivalent to 330,000 pesos. The CCTV monitoring system costs 150,000. The microcontroller and network system costs 100,000 pesos. The design and development cost is equivalent to 500,000 pesos. The preventive maintenance cost is equivalent to 200,000 pesos. The Lorawan Gateway costs 30,000 pesos. For the data storage system, costs 150,000 pesos. For the power system, costs 200,000 pesos for a total of 2 million uh, pesos. The benefits from the sanitary landfill, there is a low cost, low operating cost. It can handle large amounts of waste and the field land can be used for other purposes. This, there is a limited landfill space in many areas. For the sensor, the early detection, uh, there is an early detection of emergency accidents. So, in case of mga emergency accidents, through the use of mga, the installation of the IoT-based remote sensing technology, we can easily detect mga emergency accidents. It is also used for monitoring the temperature, the pressure of the sound, uh, the the vibration of the sensor, yung mga 
and to monitor uh, any person entering and going out of the premises. It, it can also be used for preventive maintenance because uh, we can detect uh, early problems of the network and uh, maintenance can be applied or implemented or can be done immediately.